So I got a message today. Um, there's been a lot of earth angels here that <laughs> have been just dragged through the mud, right? Like this veil is ripping back and all of this um, karma is boomeranging around. Um, the people that are taking the opportunity that this brings, okay, to clear and release, you know, going up the spiral staircase here. Um, spirit wants me to let you know, okay, especially the earth angels out here, that this was an opportunity to learn lessons because spirit is going to be bringing in abundance here okay and we've got the sun card coming out in reverse right um that which is hidden is going to be exposed here you might not feel like that this is why i'm doing the reading okay the energy that i'm picking up on here is that you folks are like mourning celebrations okay you're mourning this loss um, this could have been even a group of people that um, almost like conspired to make sure that your light didn't shine, to make sure that uh, they tried to destroy you, basically. And what you need to understand is that it was like, you know, it was kind of like a dark versus light thing. These people got stuck in these energies and allowed these energies to... Um, take them over almost, right? Or, you know, they did it by choice. There's accountability there. But they they chose darkness. They chose to stay in whatever wounded aspect and, and lash out, okay? Um, and Spirit wants you to know that there's going to be a message coming in here soon, very soon for you. This is going to be a Knight of Pentacles that's going to come in that is going to start the ball rolling, in another direction for you. Just a second. I have to go get my coffee. Okay. So spirit wants you to understand that even though things aren't clear, this is part of the lesson. And for those of you that have been doing the work, I feel like you already know this. Spirit is teaching you how to trust in the unknown, how to read the energies how to live in the energy of light, how to find that in yourself. Okay. Yeah. We also have a Knight of Cups coming in as well. Okay. You're going to be receiving lots of help here. You're going to be receiving lots of help. You don't see this coming necessarily. This is just, you know, a growth phase here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask specifically on these reverse cards, grab another deck. What do we have for the sun in reverse, please? I really feel like that's your, you know, it's an energy that you're letting go. Some of you um, are just kind of clearing out residual emotions, which is what you're supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to avoid them. That's why people get into a situation where they're acting out and lashing out and hurting other people, right? So Spirit just wants you to understand, okay, that you will move forward here and it's going to be in love, okay? This um, could have been about a project. This could have been a person that um, I, I really feel like someone said they were going to do something. They made promises or you guys had a contract or something like that. And um, they did everything they could. They were trying to steal your energy, right? Like whatever was inside of them that was their wounded aspect was like energy vamping off of your energy. Okay. I feel like you've moved past this. What's this three of cups upside down? Thank you, spirit. Oh, okay. Yeah, the battle's over, and you know this. So basically what I feel like is happening right now, all right, is that you know that this is all done and over with. You understand actually what's going on, okay? And you are just in the process of healing, okay? And Spirit is wanting to let me know, again, say, you know, different deck, 
There are messages that are going to be coming in for you. I mean, that's an eight. There could be eight different messages coming in for you. There's going to be plenty of opportunity when you're ready. Um, I hear spirit saying to, to go at your pace, to stay authentic, because that's what brings in your best energy, your best frequency, right? Is what's going to bring in the best abundance for you. And let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to ask about this abundance, please. Okay. Yeah, we've got a queen of wands in reverse here. Um, <clears throat> I really feel like there was a group of people. <clears throat> this was more than one person. This person might have recruited other people, okay, to come in and take your blessing, to take your power. They didn't understand you. That's why they brought you in. They're like an energy vamp. They wanted to understand how you could be happy, how you could... Um, Always be looking at the light because they watched you go through this this stuff before they even came into the picture. And that's what it was all about. They were trying and rather than being authentic and being aware and actually listening and communicating, they were trying to energy vamp this information off you. And that doesn't work. OK, um, when you energy vamp off of somebody, all that does because you're coming from the shadow self, all that does is turn around and it, it, it's it's almost like um, shadow magic, right? It, it'll boomerang right back. And that's what I'm hearing here. Okay, and I feel like you guys know this. Yeah, that situation was a gift. I don't know why this other person's energy is coming in here, but maybe somebody needs to hear this as a validation. Okay, the universe gave them a gift. Okay. And, and they denied it. They basically denied it. I feel like some of you even made it really clear. Like, hey, I'm a healer. I'm an earth angel. I'm a this, I'm a that. You know, um, I know that the angels and universe and source, the light is with me. If you, you know, if you treat me well, you're going to get blessed, right? Um, if you help me to, you know, to prosper it's only going to come back to you. And I feel like somebody did exactly the opposite. I feel like there was a lot of jealousy. Okay. And they could not understand how you could have gone through so much and still been, still have trust, still have faith. And they were trying to vamp that. They were trying to copycat that. And um, that's not how it works. The only way that an individual gets to that point is by doing the work, doing the inner healing, right? Taking a look at yourself in the mirror. Um, so the vamping just doesn't happen. Okay. I feel like, you know, that the conflict is over now. You're already moving forward. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. There's the validation. Okay. There's the validation right there. We've got another temperance earth angel card coming out. And notice how this, this particular deck emphasizes the cosmic energy, okay, and the refresh here, all right? Um, so let's get into the abundance, please. Spirit, can you give us, I'm going to put some of these cards back here. Spirit, can you give us an idea of the abundance? That's going to be coming in for our earth angels. What does that look like, please? What do these messages look like? Let's do the eight of wands. I got too many cards coming out. Thank you, spirit. What does this energy of abundance, what is this bringing in? And this would be potential future outcome because I feel like you know, we're, we're kind of reading in the future because I feel like some of you are still uh, nurturing yourself right now, which is exactly what you should be doing. We've got the Six of Cups. Things are going to come into balance and they're going to come into balance by you taking care of yourself. Love and light here, which is exactly what you're doing. Okay, exactly what you're doing. Notice that in this deck in particular, this is the only card of cups where the flowers are blooming here. Okay. You're going to have plenty of options here. Um, some of you might be getting a new home and it's going to be built on really solid foundations here and it's going to enable you to have a rest. Okay. 
And by rest, I don't mean necessarily sitting around and doing nothing. It's going to be like an energetic rest. Like all of the sudden you are doing things. Uh, you're finding your joy is what I'm hearing. Okay. The wands are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So it's possible that someone, some of these messages could be coming in from that. Pentacles are Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And cups, of course, are our water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, how exciting. I really feel like, I feel somehow, and it's not going to be through, the stuff that's coming in for you is not going to be through devastation, right? This is coming in in joy. All the way around it, it's going to be joy. Okay? Let's read on this Knight of Pentacles, please. Yeah, we've got the high priestess coming in. Okay, your intuition is going to be bringing this person in. Somebody out there sees you for who you are. All right, they know that you're the high priestess here. They know the kind of intuition that you bring to the table is what I'm hearing. Okay, they respect it. And this is somebody I'm feeling, even though they're showing up in night energy, okay, I really feel like um, they're coming in very gently. But I feel like this person has had a lot of experience um, in business, making money, you know, the material side of things. Um, and they're coming in to kind of like offer you a project here, okay? And, you know, when I say material things, I mean, like, um, it could be projects. It doesn't have to be, like, it doesn't mean necessarily that they're wealthy or something like that. I feel like they come in with more experience than they're showing. And they're doing that because they don't, they know that you've come out of a really rough situation. They don't want to intimidate you here. Yeah, I can't make it up, right? Hierophant. This has been given to you, and, and notice the counterparts here. Okay, there is a potential for a possible really huge partnership. All right. Uh, the high priestess is kind of the divine feminine. And the hierophant is kind of the divine masculine. This is going to be a huge partnership. This person is as intuitive as you are just with different things. Okay, like I see people as, you know, like a healer, a light worker. This is the earth angel we're talking to. This person has the same thing, but it's more of a practical basis. Like it's more on the 3D, but that's how they recognize your intuition, okay? And your, um, I don't want to say potential, your abilities, because they have them. They just have them in a different way. You know how, you know, like brings in like, okay? Um, again, this is coming into you very soon. Spirit is telling you, take care of yourself and just know that there is divine timing here. Let's ask about this Knight of Cups, please. 